I'll fix it later. Hi, welcome back everybody. This is round two of uh, Thursday Night Modern Action. We are here at GameSwap in Mason, Ohio. I'm Scott Jones. I'm Phil Jones. And uh, we have a, this looks like a fun matchup, uh, Pan Spirits and Grixis Shadow. Topol, uh, he, he seems to really like this uh, Grixis Shadow deck. He got a lot of reps on it. He uh, seems to know the lines very well, so it should be a, a very good match to watch. Yeah, and actually, fun fact about Topol, if you didn't know, uh, he's also a huge Bant player. Um, played a lot of Bant Nightfall uh, before this deck, so it's interesting to see him on a different archetype. Yeah, it looks like we're going to see him uh, uh, cycle a Street Wraith. Two, Two of them. Looks like a Bolt. Uh, he got a Land off the first one and a Lightning Bolt off the second one. He's going to shock that in. Wow, this is a pretty good start for him. Uh, not a ton of action in his hand, actually. Um, yeah, it looks like we got a typo. <laughs> Spitreats. <laughs> Spiturts. And then Bant Spiturts. Jaunt. Jaunt. Yeah, so it looks like Topol's probably going to hold up a bolt here. That's why... Uh, that's his only action here. Yeah. Oh, okay, Faithful Suiting. I actually didn't see that card. So. Um, we're going to find an a land position. and... It's so fast. Yeah, it yeah, looks like an in Inquisition. All right, so now that we've seen six cards from John's deck on turn one, we're going to see, it looks like, a Noble. It looks like he has Double Bolt. This could be very dangerous. Yeah, it's not, uh, not a good start for Luke uh, having that bolted. So Topo's going to be able to just lay a shadow here and... It's gonna fetch shock. Hopefully, Luke possibly has maybe a path or. Oh, without mana acceleration, his hand is pretty bad. Looks like a Snapcaster Mage in John's hand. Yeah, he's got Snap Bolt, and actually, don't remember something he might have drawn from looting. So he's got a bolt, snap, and a land, it looks like. Alright, so Luke is going to pass it off. All he has is rattle chains. Can uh, flash it in as a surprise blocker, possibly. Tubble's graveyard also is uh, very, uh, it's already getting large, so if he ever draws. Okay, uh, so Luke did not pass turn. It, it looked like he did. Uh, so we're going to play this Wanderer. Pass it back. Without a path, this is pretty bad. Relic is better than Crypts for Graveyard Hate, even if you run Snaps or Torrential Gear Hulks. So, yeah, the uh, there there is kind of a discussion there about, uh, about how symmetrical do you want your Graveyard Hate. Personally, I don't run blue decks, so I tend to prefer permanent removal like Rest in Peace. But uh, Tormod's Crypt is very efficient at what it does and if you just want to target their graveyard i feel like that's the perfect thing to run but um i'm not sure which one's better than or, uh, relic or tormod script it's kind of a toss-up i think mm -hmm. so both... back to the game here um this is a board state i've seen Topol in many times um where when he thought scours and he's ahead he will use it against his opponent um and we just saw we milled over a collected company Ooh, that is it's a pretty good hit there. Uh, Tobol doesn't need to feed his graveyard anymore. Um, he does so. have the Snapcaster in hand, but he can't play it this turn. Uh, so Luke's going to open up with a basic forest here. I'm going to get a second Mausoleum Wanderer. Beef up that power. And we're going to get a second trigger here. Well, two triggers. Um, but it looks like in response to this... He's going to bolt yeah. the one that's on the battlefield. At least, I think it's in response. I would I would imagine it's in response. So he cannot sack Self of Spirit here. Uh, Twitcher, uh, Surgical is very nice, but it is one of the hardest cards to play <laughs> in, the si in terms of sideboards. Uh, it you actually looks like Bolt got countered here because of... No? 
Okay, no, it did happen. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the card draw it can be important um, on a relic. Yeah, it just depends on uh, depends on your deck type. I mean, if if you say like an aggro deck or something, you'd want to just throw in Tormod's Crypt to be able to just jam it as soon as possible. Like against Vengevine, you know, having that turn one option and having your turn one yeah. play is super good. See, and Relic, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that's the one that you can just tap it to remove single cards. Correct? Right, well, they, or the they choose. Gets to choose. Yeah. So, I mean, it depends on how, how quickly you need that, that panic button, basically. Um, now, in a mono blue deck, I think I'd almost prefer your Tormod's Crypt, personally, but it probably wouldn't be bad to run both, one and one. Alright, so we're going to crash in here for four, four it looks like. a four, four. And Luke's going to comfortably be able to take that. Looks like he had a, it, he has a collected company in his hand. He does he? have a Coco. Um, and even if Tobol didn't bend that Inquisition, he'd still keep it. And I think that's why he just went ahead and, and dumped it. That, uh, Twitcher, that's a great point. Surgical can uh, have, does have synergy with uh, Snapcaster and Torrential Gearhawk. Hey, hey, thanks. We, we're, we're here to, we're here to entertain and enlighten. You're quite uh, <laughs> observant of us tonight. All right, so There's we get this land. fourth land. Oh, he had canopy this whole okay. time. So it looks like he's going to be able to survive long enough to have this Coco. Um, and the question is, does he main board or not main board? Um, yeah, stubborn denial is an option here for Topol. I don't know if he has it. Uh, he does not. He does not. But he has the Snapcaster Mage. But uh, that uh, right now you're looking at a uh, bolt as your target for that. So we don't see a main board Coco for. Pretty clear reasons. Now, um, what, what is this second card in the graveyard? Is that? That's a thought. That's thought scour. Ah, okay. All right. Is that a dismember that Tobol just drew? Yes. He's very quick with his. Uh... <laughs> it's a promo dismember. Nice. Now the question is, does he pay full price for this? I think that or could does be he risky. Go to two. <laughs> Or four seems really risky. I feel like Luke uh, representing four mana, he knows that it's possible for a Coco to show up. So, all right. So Tibble gets a polluted Delta, which is not a good draw here. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and attack here. Does Luke block? He he would be taking six, right? Uh, he'd be taking seven, 7 currently. He can seven. fetch Shock to take 10. That still doesn't kill him, so that's not a good... Uh... I agree. I agree that uh, stopping Tassiger and Angler is a more favorable thing to do. Yeah, like you mentioned um, before, but however, hate. Um, in definitely. This, sorry, sorry, go ahead. In, in this matchup with Bant Spirits, I mean, he's going to be looking to possibly path um, those threats. Mm -hmm. All right, so they're, they're both going to fetch. <laughs> so John's fetch is in response to Luke's, which means he cannot Coco here. Which means he's going to be able to use this dismember. Now, still, the question stands of how he pays for it. Um, probably going to have to pay full price for this. And interesting interaction um, with this member here. Selva Spirit does not does nothing. Uh, giving indestructible to something that's taking neg five neg five is not going to save it. So no. <laughs> All right. So Tobol grabs the shock land. He's coming down to three. All right. So now he has to pay full price for this this Yeah. Um, but the important thing is here is that he's responding to the fetch. Which does not allow Luke to cast Coco here. <laughs> when you're uh, searching, it looks for like well, he is resolving the fetch. So man, when you're searching for a land, I mean, it's always in that bottom stack, right? <laughs> <laughs> um. So actually, I am a little confused now that he did it in response and didn't capitalize on it. I'm. I guess he wants to see what the Coco gets if he even yeah. has it. Uh, yeah, because then could you have that a better threat. Yeah, then you have the option to snap bolt, 
mm -hmm. in response, which you can do, which might be better in some circumstance than uh, spinning all of yeah. your resources for one just never. And I, I would like to comment, um, as explosive as Topol's start was, um, without the interaction from this deck that it normally has, Luke has made it to turn four yeah, without he, a Manator. Yeah, so. he stalled out uh, because he, he just did not have the Gurmag Angler. Yeah. So had... let's see what this Coco gets. There's the path. Phantasmal image. Captain. And a breeding pool. So we're going to get that captain. That's yeah. not good for Topol. That represents hexproof to all of his dudes except for captain. But if this image copies captain, then both of them are hexproof. Yes. Um, See, copying... I think he's copying Wanderer. Mausoleum uh, Wanderer. So that's the one that beefs up his board, right? Mm -hmm. Selfless oh, Spirit. Selfless that's spirit. also a pretty good line here, yeah. I guess Tobol's just having questions about Wanderer. He Can we put uh, Mausoleum Wanderer on the screen for yeah. you folks? Um, since there's a also, little bit of discussion on the... Selfless Spirit um, is a flyer. That's That could be yes. relevant. <laughs> Well, most, most of his deck flies, to be fair. Sure. Yeah, spirits. Um, that's kind of all the strength. Flyer, yeah. Yeah, well, no, not all spirits are. But that is the strength of the build itself, is to have most <laughs> of your deck flying. Uh, so. Um, you might have to resize the image a little bit. It, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. We were uh, doing spoilers. All right, so Table scoops it up, given how nutty that Coco was. So Mausoleum Wanderer is a flying 1-1 one, one for 1. Whenever another spirit enters, he gets 1-1. One, one. And then you can sack him and counter uh, an instant or sorcery spell, not just not creature. And unless they pay X, where X is his power. So it's a very powerful card against uh, Topol's efficient mana base, but not very large mana base, um, rendering some of his uh, interaction to be useless, including yeah. the dismember that he had in hand. So. Yeah, being able to uh, to counter an instant or sorcery spell without a counter spell is seems to be very good for these. Uh, yeah, I mean you're you're attacking. Yeah, hitting your face with uh, counter spells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, wh what do you think we'll see from uh, uh, the sideboard here? Well, dismember seems super hard to utilize properly. Yeah. Uh, Maybe you'd want to see that earlier in the game rather than later. But uh, taking well, no, that I much mean, life. Bolt's good. Bolt is good. Bolt hits most of the things if he doesn't have already have a board state. Mm -hmm. So you want to see that one first, probably. Um, Kolagon's command seems pretty good here. Yeah. Um, it kills most of his board without any lords in play. Right. Um, and also makes him discard a card. Yeah, which discarding is a card is pretty good. Pretty good in a deck that likes to hold up. Yeah. You know, when you're trying to, to really get to four lands so you can play a collected company... Um, you're going to be a lot more hesitant to drop a, a land or hold on to a land to counteract. Uh, uh, so uh, from the sideboard here, um, I mean, disdainful stroke is huge. Yeah, uh, for Luke here, if he has it, um, it counters Gurmag Angler, counters Tassiger. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah, actually, but I mean, that's that answers a threat immediately what, what about geist does geist get you get you geist, enough, uh... um takes this matchup over yeah uh geist is impossible for topol to deal with without combat um um what about uh Jermoka's command or something like that i don't i don't feel like you could turn off the, you could turn off the uh the self uh damage on topol with it correct? most of it's loss of life Ah, okay. Um, yeah, that, yeah. I think we'll see a, a pretty slim trim from uh, Luke. Yeah, I mean, Luke's got mainboard path to exile. And yeah. that in conjunction of Geist, pretty much all he really needs to, uh, you know, put on pressure. Yeah. Plus him being a game up on the draw. Um, it's yeah. pretty strong. That is pretty strong. I mean, this uh, Pan Spirits deck is the real deal. Yeah. People have been talking about it. Uh, is it better? To, is it the better Coco vehicle than right. some of the others? I think that's yet to be determined. But um, yeah, I mean, any tribal deck you can run uh, noble nobles and spell package. I mean, that it seems like the meta is shifting towards this. So. And Topwood respects the turn one noble. 
uh, as most players should. Um, it's not just the birds. You know? Yeah, it, it is it not represents just a birds. lot more. Yeah, it, Exalted is just so so good. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, we can't see the chat. We got the uh, card image thing on it. Um, the, do we? Let's see. He's thinking about the sand. He's got one land. Yep. All right. Yeah, we're going fetch land. All right. Let's so no turn one play from Topol here. Uh, we have the noble once again. Do we see a bolt? He's going to take one from the canopy. Does he respect the noble this game? He, do he doesn't he look does like he has use the it bolt. not quite yet. Oh, there Still it is. Still yeah. can. He has the bolt. He has the bolt. It's not necessary that he needed to do it. It might be this turn, though. His lands are looking a little rough. See that Godless Shrine, most likely for the Self of Spirits deck, which is a <laughs> pretty good defense uh, against yeah. the Spirits deck. Yeah, so we're going to fetch with Blue to Delta. All right, so he's going to fetch Shock, and he has uh, the Godless Shrine in hand, so he can he can uh, get himself to a comfortable 15 with just those. And uh, not have to emergency emergency look for that Godless Shrine when he needs it. Right. Um, back when I played Shadow and I, I did a similar thing, having the Godless Shrine in hand is really nice. All right, so he's going to bolt both the noble so he he does uh, respect the noble but he, he knew he had a another turn to actually decide mm -hmm. he just doesn't want him to untap with that noble because that right, noble so could we be have huge. three collected companies and one land one land this is a greedy start for luke um i'm not sure why he kept a one lander here yeah i mean in game one we saw his his noble get bolted yeah uh on turn one so you got to keep that in All mind. Right, so we see a Death Shadow and it looks like uh, another fetch land out of the Faithless Looting. And we also have an Angler, which can take this game over pretty quickly. Yeah, so he's going to already start fanning out his uh, graveyard. He He's going to want to do that very soon. So I'm going to pitch Basic Island and Angler, actually. So he has two Death Shadows in hand. This right. is not good for Luke whatsoever. Ooh. We're going to fetch Shock here. Wait. And get did he? Oh no! Yeah, he did that on the end step, correct? The last fetch. What do you mean? Uh, what, is it, what I mean is, did he already play a land for turn? He played the Godless Shrine, correct? On turn two, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Luke, uh, Luke missed a land drop and yeah. passed. No, as far as I'm concerned, this game is over. He yeah, no. Just let the cleanup. Had to discard. Can we uh, see uh, the chat screen on, on the screen, please? Thank you. All right, so we're going to delve out for this angler. Yep. Everything but the bolt. <laughs> and he did find a land. It's definitely pretty late. It is late. Clock's ticking with that horizon canopy on his life total, too. Very, yeah. Yep. Alright, so Topol. He's got a fatal push for this Thalia. Uh, he's probably going to go ahead and fire that off here. Now, does he thought scour his opponent here, like I predicted in game one? Yes, he does. Right, so, so he pitches a land and a Tameo Field Researcher. Ooh. Really nice flavor card here. Lots of card advantage to be had and yep. some uh, some protection. All right, so he's going to feed these shadows. He's going to take a lot here. Yeah, that is... I'm surprised that's not lethal. <laughs> oh, that is a 13 damage. He would, He's a uh, thoughts he's away from, or a bolt. Yeah. Did we see the Snapcaster in his hand before? Or yeah, the Luke is probably going to scoop it up here. Yep, I mean, that's that's a gamble that... I'm guilty of doing myself in uh, decks with mana dorks. It's easy to, to look at a hand and be like, wow, this is this is an awesome hand. It's got all the spells I want to play mm -hmm. because it has only one land. Um, I would have mulliganed that personally. Yeah, I, but, I personally know. would too. I thought he was uh, considering it when he was fanning it out. That was him uh, just waiting for Topol to be on the play. Gotcha. So I, I thought he was going to look at it and maybe consider pitching it. Because um, if you're on on the draw here you can afford to go to six very comfortably yeah for sure especially if you won on the draw in your first game mm -hmm. so but that is a luxury that luke gets in game two uh 
being yeah, a game Can we uh, fix the typos on the screen, please? That's not how you spell spirits or John How, how do you know name. that's a typo, man? That could be the name uh, of his deck. Spitritz? Spitritz. Spitritz? It's Bant Spitritz, man. Bant Spitritz. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just confused, like, uh, like Chad is. Gives a character, you know? There's not a ton of lists on, uh, goldfish that are probably called Bant Spitritz. Yeah, that's true. So. Unless somebody else also, uh, <laughs> happened to misspell it the same way. <laughs> All right, so we're going into game three here. Plenty of time. Now does Luke? Luke will be on the play for this game. Mm -hmm. All right, so we did, uh, we did unfortunately change the name. It is not Spiturts. Uh, it looks like Tobol is pulling his hand to seven here. I think Luke likes his hand. It's got more lands in it. More lands. Uh, we got a Botanical Sanctum and not a Noble Hierarch this time. We have a Wanderer. Order. Seems like an okay start. Uh, interesting. If he casts Lightning Bolt here, targeting, <laughs> yeah. he can sack it to counter the Lightning Bolt. Uh, so definitely he's gonna, not something he will do. Yeah, he's going to play the... That's a basic island. Indeed. Uh, oh, no, he, he decided to get... an audible that. Yeah. All right, so we get a third land from Luke. Uh, we got a windswept teeth coming. Windswept teeth, so he can fetch out colors if he needs to. Notch, how's it going? Greetings, Notch. It's Welcome good to, to see the stream. You. All right, so we're going to crack this windswept teeth, and I would imagine get either a basic or a temple garden here. Also, don't forget, guys, we have our, our current giveaway is uh, a Rishadon port. Um, you can enter that with uh, exclamation point enter and the number of tickets you'd like to purchase. Uh, they are 25 points per ticket, and you have 10 tickets that maximum you can you can enter. Um, that drawing will be next Tuesday at 10 o'clock after our Modern League. All right, so Luke's going to deploy the Self of Spirit. Yeah, it does appear that Luke is not using the Vials. Yeah. If he has them, we haven't seen them this game, but he's definitely running Nobles. And Vial, Coco, and Noble seems a bit much. Yeah, it does. Uh, but I could be wrong. So we get a buff on Wanderer here. We're going to go ahead and attack in for two. Uh, Tobo's going to fetch... Try to bolt this self of spirit. Um, so he lets it go through. I would assume sacking to uh, give indestructible to Wanderer. Yeah, yeah, that's true. He's also running Rattle Chain, so it's yeah. very likely he, we won't see Nobles yeah, we'll, in this we'll list. Yeah, we'll have Flash for all of our creatures. Um, so interesting play from Luke here. Um, he could have kept his self a spirit. Is that a Geist in his hand, I see? Geist of Saint Trap? It appears to be so. Yeah, uh, one there at the end. Yeah, that's a Geist. Um, so he he utilizes the self a spirit here instead of countering the Bolt. Which means he probably wants to have that Wanderer for later Stubborn Denials. That That is true. I mean, lists show up all the time that like to uh, leverage. Uh, it's like when you ha have a decision where it's like, hey, uh, I have to pick one or the other. Mm -hmm. What happens if we tweak the numbers and try to run 3-3 three three or 3-2 right. three split? I'm sure there's a lot of versions. Well, if on you're this playing bio, there's no reason not to play four. So of course. that question gets answered very quickly. <laughs> I agree. All right, with that. so we get a resolved guy to Saint Trap. Topol is visibly uh, not happy about that. He is. Uh, before combat, though. Is he gonna? We're gonna thought scour. We're gonna target Luke once again. Get that self of spirit and a razor verge ticket. And we're gonna do it once more. Yeah. Thalia and a noble. And there's the Stubborn Denial. Topol is uh, probably not in a good position to have now with Mausoleum Wanderer on the field. Mm -hmm. Let's see what his top deck is. Three Vials and four Cocos. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I don't really have much to comment about that. I mean, I'm a Vial player myself. Um, I, I believe you have 24 hours to claim uh, if you win the drawing. I don't think you have to be there live anymore. Uh, where uh, We had done it that way in the past, but 
You, uh, somebody, uh, Jake Valentine, will send you a message through our uh, Top Deck Productions or his own uh, account, and he will get information and stuff like that from you. If you, if you win the drawing, you have 24 hours to claim your winnings. I believe. I believe that's how we're doing it now. So Topol's hand here is uh, really good if he was on the play. Um, he's got some sideboard <laughs> attack uh, with that is it Statocaster. Um, he deploys a two-two. Shadow. If you'd like to see how many points you have, you can do exclamation point points plural. Okay, so it looks like Luke pulled a drug skull captain, which is really good here, which does not let uh, Topol profitably block this Geist as it stands. Um, oh, also, uh, I've been told that uh, if you're a moderator of the stream or top deck personnel, you aren't eligible to win. All right, so Geist is now a 3-3 with double Hexproof. Ooh, yeah, this Geist is going to do some damage. So we're going to swing in for 9 here. Or 10, actually. Yes, wrecked indeed. So we're going to block this Geist. Uh, Shadow is going to die currently. Yeah. Um, let's see if Topol has anything to say about it to uh, buff him. So we're going to Thought Scour. going to target Luke once more. In a land. And we dump that uh, Supreme Phantasm in a land. Looks like Topol is looking for maybe a bolt or a push for the captain. I'm not sure why we but, have uh, so many mods in the channel, honestly, guys. <laughs> we don't need 20 plus mods. Ah, so yeah, actually, state based. Actions, yeah, that, yeah, because he so takes damage, shadow. buffing Death Shadow, and then the Geist oh, will trade, yes. Wow, that's a kind of a weird interaction, you, you don't see that a ton. Yeah, it is, um, but that does now, put Topo so at four. Happens, yeah. And Luke can counter a removal spell. And he doesn't die immediately. So let's see what Topol can do here. Alright, he pulls a Collective Brutality. Um, that is something that... Uh, that's, that is kind of awkward here. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure which one the... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You get to decide which one it is? That's pretty cool. Yeah, so just to clarify, the Rishidan port, um, it is your choice of, uh, obviously, the, uh, <laughs> not the really expensive foil ones. <laughs> oh, I was... Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, your choice mask. between the, uh, the, uh, the masks or Masters 25, I believe. <laughs> Alright, so Topol's in the tank here. Yeah, really, uh, thinking uh, he about He does not have here. lethal this turn, even if he removes the captain. So he's gonna play this land... But I wonder if he's going to do anything with it. He's going to have to remove that Drug Skull Captain. But the problem is, is that Mausoleum Wanderer is a 2 2 mm -hmm. because of Drug Skull Captain. And he can so use it to counter. So if he wants to counter this, or if he wants to remove the Captain, he's going to have to pay two mana to do it. Alright, so, so he's going to fetch. Probably get a basic swamp here. And it was two cards deep. <laughs> it's a very, very pretty looking swamp. Unfamiliar with the set, but if Jat recognizes it, you'll get brownie points from me. Alright, so let's see what this... Uh, Let's see what this play from Topol is going to be. One of the APAC ones. It's from a set. I would agree with <laughs> <Thanks>. that. <laughs> well, I guess, I mean, that's not a that's not a silly answer. That is not a silly answer. Um, there are plenty of cards Promotional cards are not technically a set. There are plenty of cards from uh, Dual Deck Series deck. Yeah. Like. Alright, so we're going to go to combat first and see if he blocks this. Um, 10 damage. It's 
Is yeah. he going to respect the Tamer Battle Rage? Um, I would here. Um, I think you have to. I, I wouldn't respect it. I would probably just have to take just to the face. The more creatures Luke does not yeah. have to kill him next turn, I mean, he's just going to lose either way. Yeah. Um, he hasn't seen Battle Rage in this set so far. True. So, so He's definitely thinking about it, though. He, he hasn't decided on blocks yet. Um, there's no way without Battle Rage that he dies this turn. Right. So... And as we can see, he does not have the Battle Rage. I don't like these mind he is definitely blocked. I guess Snap Bolt would be an out for him as yeah. well. But he can counter it. So he wants so. to see if he's going to block here, and that kind of decides what his second main play is. Yeah, if he blocks, Luke loses. I, th I think that's what this comes down to. This yeah, I is think so. the turn. Man. This is the turn. So I think if you're Luke, you want to roll the dice and pray that he doesn't have the uh, Tamer Battle Rage. Yeah. Because then he has to put another body on the field or snap bolt. Well, yeah, if he blocks... He, he has to snap he, bolt and remove um, Mausoleum Wanderer, correct? Or the captain? If he blocks captain here, he can still... He can snap bolt and uh, remove the Wanderer. If he doesn't block and takes 10, he cannot snap bolt. Because he can then sack Wanderer and counter the bolt. Right. Forcing him to pay two mana. All right, so it looks like Luke is just going to take it. I feel like right. that's a safe play. Going five here. Looks like we're going to brutality. I wonder if we're going to leverage some life here with uh, the escalate. Uh, essentially swapping the life totals. Yeah. Um, so he does gonna not counter that because that would just you know he doesn't have an attacker. All right, so it looks like that was neg two mm -hmm. to uh, the captain, and then uh, neg two gain two. All right, so we have a All second right. shadow. That's that's a pretty solid that's a pretty solid play from uh, Topol. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, our our giveaway this time is a Rishadon port, your choice of non foil masks or the M twenty five version. Um, that drawing will be next Tuesday. This coming Tuesday at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, um, at the end of our um, modern uh, our modern league. Mm -hmm. Interesting enough, uh, another line Luke could have taken that might have been safer. Uh, instead of playing the captain uh, to get in all the damage he did, he does have Spellcaller in hand. Oh. Uh, he drew it, I believe, the second or third turn of the game. Is that two of them in his hand? Um, so it looks like he's going to hold back this spell queller. That's, uh... I feel like you have to. I think he might have double rattle chains. Yeah. Yeah. Double rattle chains. So he's double cool. spell queller. So what would you do here? That's a really tough one. If I'm being honest with you, i probably just have to deploy the, this rattle chain so that I can not die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I very much prefer not to die here. Yeah. And he does represent path and a way to counter it. Um, but, yeah, he's going to have to just proceed the blockers. He, he does make it there. Mm hmm. Um, but I think. Snap Bolt just kills him. Yeah. That's a game over right here. Yeah, I think Luke might have needed to hold up that spell queller. Um. The previous turn, nah, he's stubborn denial. Oh, <laughs> that so work even that if way. it would have, <laughs> yeah, we're just yeah. Now answer. we're just being fun, but <laughs> Luke, Luke was demonstrating. He had the spell coil in hand, and I think what you said earlier was very true. Like yeah. uh, trying to get the captain in there, that might have been a little. Uh, it's not. It's not exactly greedy, I, I but it's. Say, it's not a bad play. It's not a bad play, but.